In fact, now what used to be Overhaul's great you, advantage, you being able to create range. things, is now kind of null and void. Because mm -hmm. he used to be able to create things to block out Shiggy, but now Shiggy just gets rid, gets rid of it. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think if Overhaul were to be on the team, his greatest asset would be, oh my god, I got touched, I'm dying. Overhaul comes in and goes, destroy it, remake it. Heal. Mm. So he'd be the, the healer. Mm -hmm. He'd be the guy who could be like, he'd, he'd be the last ditch emergency. No, 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 I got you. Like he amputation and then... Recreation. Like stop, stop, stop the zombie spread, you're going to cut off your arm. Yep. In fact, he especially because since the the kind of calcification, the like stoniness of it is kind of like an anime only, we are to assume that they are literally just kind of collapsing as a organic flesh. He may be mm -hmm. able to just bring back a decayed person. But of Maybe. course, that's if Overhaul has his fucking arms. <laughs> But you know what? You know what? I I am willing to bet that certain members of the Hasai Kai would help. I think Rappa would help. Yeah, but how useful would Rappa be? Yeah, but he's so cool. He is cool, but he'd be fucking a cool corpse. Grit those teeth! I, 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 he's, he's cool. Oh, Shield Guy would help. Shield Guy. I don't know I, if he would help, but he would be helpful. Yeah. To have, uh -huh. he would just make shield. I think. I think. No, but. <laughs> No, because then he can just disintegrate the shield. Maybe. Uh, sloshed. I think sloshed would be incredibly useful. Oh, yeah, he can make him drunk. You get sloshed and gang orca here to just mm -hmm. combo fuck up the, his equilibrium. It, you know, if we just had every single character fight Shigaraki right now... <laughs> maybe we'd have a chance. Maybe, maybe we could win. <laughs> Do you think Endeavor by himself could fight Shigaraki right now? Do you think Endeavor think by can. himself could beat USJ Nomu? No. <laughs> well, yeah, because he would be able yeah, to negate his. He'd be able to do gate. Because his... again, that 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 Nomu was specifically designed for All Might, not for Endeavor. So I mean, if Endeavor stays talk... up in the air and just disintegrates, it just hits him, him with range. Yeah, I think Endeavor by himself. If I Shigaraki. <laughs> but you gotta remember, Shigaraki's a lot smarter. And if he gets all for one, Dude, that's can cute. you imagine him? Can oh. you imagine Shiggy having the fucking uh, the the all for ones kind of black whippy thing? Remember what he was using the to, to no like the the metal yeah, like the, the fucking the tendril no thing? it was like yeah the like forcible were, like, quirk were, like, activation tendrils they were yeah it was like the it was like the spiral like it had like the spiral like red and mm -hmm, black gray, whatever the fuck yeah. Can you imagine mm -hmm. if Shiggy had range? Or fuck, if he can just do the fucking... If he's strong enough, could he just do what Midoriya does? Yeah. Fucking... Or... Just, you know, like, send out rivets. a ranged wave of decay. Well, I was gonna say decay, just air pressure. If he has range decay, as in, like, ground-to-air decay, this all goes out the window. Aizawa's literally the only hope we have. <laughs> Man, I don't know what the hell was. <laughs> like, if we can Bro. get this, this kind of remi this reminds me of fucking Infinity War. It's just all hope is lost. Yeah, Thanos with the gauntlet versus Team Iron Man. Like, if we can get, I guess, I guess Stain could be our uh, our Mantis. Like, because if he just like it just gets a little bit of blood, uh -huh. all he needs to, is to cut him once. Or and to have somebody a open a big enough wound for him to get in there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Stain is fast. He is he's, fast. He's really fast, but I don't know if he's, he's fast but enough. But Shigaraki is also super fast. It's like, oh, yeah, he's really fast, but this guy's just faster. Like, like who do you think is faster or has better reaction time? Bakugo or Shigaraki? Right now? Because we know, I think Midor I think Bakugo is faster than Midori. Bakugo is at least has incredibly high reaction time, but I'm, I'm probably have to give it to Shiggy at the moment. The thing is, nobody is faster than Hawks. No yes. one's faster than Hawks. So even if Hawks can just get like a feather to get some blood on it, and then he gives it to Stain, so it's, yeah, and he just mm -hmm. the. All right, all right. Let's see. So she is Saikai. They had he would he would die. He'd... 
Ah, Crystal we could get we could get the guy who can um take objects from people's hands. Mm. So if Shiggy had like a quirk destroying bullet gun, he could just take. The he gun. could take it away, or say, "Fuck, if Shiggy's strong enough, would he even need a fucking gun? He could just be like, no, like, <laughs> 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 fuck it." But still, he could like, Oop, gotcha. Mm -hmm. He could take that away from him. Uh. Let's see, Rappa, no, Shield Guy, maybe. Uh, mm. Slosh, great. Uh, Chrono, Chrono! Okay, so if Chrono can get close to him, and I mean fucking close, and pierce him with his hair, Shiggy will be in slow motion. <laughs> I'm trying here, man, I'm trying. All right? I know, I know, it's funny. <laughs> you're just like, oh, oh, this character could help. Oh, and also this character, and you're just, you've named half the universe. I've, I've named the entire fucking <laughs> roster of characters. Yeah, yeah. You know, Compress <laughs> could do something. <laughs> Yo, you know who would be a lot of help? Shiggy. Oh, <laughs> if Shigaraki fought Shigaraki, we'd be in a lot better yeah. position. <laughs> uh, there's no hope. Just give up. All's lost. <laughs> yep. Uh, but yeah, you know what? I'm still, I'm still kind of, I'm still. I, I think we have a game plan at the very least, uh, like with realistic characters. Yeah. Yeah. With the, I, I still think the Aizawa, Udaraka, Rocklock kind of combo there is going to be incredibly useful. The only issue being, will they actually allow like the one A students to get that close? Mm hmm. Maybe that's going to be their downfall. Maybe that'll be their downfall. It's like they still, you know, they're, they're still not willing to do like everything that needs to be done. It's like, oh, mm -hmm. well, no, we're the heroes. You're the students. Like if they had brought, say, Uraraka along, you know, well, they would have, you know, been able to do stuff. But I think if we were to have like, say, Three support and three attack. Let's say we can only get six people to fight Shigaraki. <laughs> Obviously, number one. We get a Pokemon team. We get number one, Endeavor. Mm -hmm. Number two, Aizawa. Aizawa. Mm -hmm. Number three, Uraraka. Mm -hmm. Number four, Nejere. Uh, and number five, Hawks. I would say Hawks. Number six, All Might is Prime. Nope. <laughs> um, would you put Midori on this list? Uh, ooh, and number six, Inasa. Mm -hmm. So we have Endeavor, Aizawa, Uraraka, Hawks, Inasa, and Nejere. Mm hmm. That's that's a that's the team. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess if we choose these characters only, I well no, Aizawa. I was gonna say Uraraka may not be needed, but Aizawa needs to be able to float. Aizawa's gonna do shit. Aizawa, he's the linchpin. He's the linchpin of this entire scenario, because yep. even like even if Endeavor could beat Shigaraki right now, if Shigaraki touches him once, he's dead. Yeah. So we need we need Aizawa there, or else there's no hope. So Aizawa has to be on the team. What about... Alright, so... Now Machia. What, what about it? Who do we put against Machia? We don't put anybody against Machia. We put Shigaraki against Machia. No, actually? Actually? Alright. So, how does Spider-Man typically beat Juggernaut? And by typically, I mean that one time. He just gets him to run into shit. It's like the classic first level villain where it's like, oh, he's charging at me and I move out of the way and he hits a thing and then I go and beat him up and then like... Yeah. So the way Spider-Man beat Juggernaut in their first encounter, which shouldn't have worked, power scan, whatever, but the way he did it was he tricked Juggernaut into running into a pool of wet cement. Oh, I think... Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about Rhino from the game. In the, I, you said Juggernaut, but I'm like, oh, he just said Rhino. Okay. Uh, but yeah. So instead of maybe beating 
Machia. They neutralize him? What if we neutralize him, restrain him? And I think we joked about this one time, mm -hmm. but I think the game plan, and again, this is assuming we have information ahead of time. The game plan is we get everything sticky. <laughs> so, first off. They get, oh, no, just get fucking... Um, Juzo. Yeah. First off, Juzo. heroes... Who can stop, in quotations, Machia? So number one. And we're going to assume that all the heroes that we chose for Shiggy can't show up for the mm -hmm. Machia fight. Yeah. So right now, number one, I'm just going to put Deku. Jizo. Because a Deku smash at 100% should hurt Machia. Um, Bakugo. Bakugo, we're going to assume, like, I know we have our six, but all the circled heroes being Endeavor, Bakugo, Tokoyami, Nejure, Inasa, Hawk, Setsuna, uh, Gran Torino, Uraraka, Rock Lock, Magna, uh, Manga, Aizawa, Monoma, Recovery Girl, uh, uh, Mandalay, Pixie Bob, and Manual. Um, okay. Are going to be at that point. Um, <laughs> so he can moisturize. <laughs> fucking. No, I know. It's just it's weird. It's like the group project where you did nothing, but you put your name down. The... <laughs> All right, so Deku on the Machia fight. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he'd be a big help there. Same with Amajiki, because we didn't use him over on the other side. I think Denki could. I think, I think if you just had a lot of high. Just high damage people. I'm going to put Juzo I, and... I. Because here's cause the like play. If, here's the play, I, I think. think. I think the play... I think the play would be if you just... If you're able to trap him in the pit and you just have everybody just start wailing on him. So, step like, one. Lightning, explosion to everything you've got. Oh, to Ice, Todoroki fire. could be for this one, yeah. So, step one. Juzo muds up a huge section of land mm -hmm. and makes it deep. Really fucking, fucking deep. deep. So Machia has to trudge through it. Next, you make that shit like, Great the, job. like the fucking like the fucking English channel. You make that mm -hmm. shit mind the fuck. Like <laughs> like <laughs> you you put you put fucking Mineta balls all over that bitch. Oh, fucking, and also I would do the Plamo glue. I was gonna put Plamo down and Saro. Yep, tape, glue, tape, and grapes. Tape, glue, grapes. That's right. Uh, and with Juzo, so you are minimizing his movement as much as possible, and then... Slow him down. You use Todoroki's ice. So it's Freeze like the him. scene from fucking Incredibles with Frozone stopping the omni oh, yeah. As he just yep. keeps smacking it. You do everything you can to slow this motherfucker down. Mm -hmm. uh, Cementos. Cementos, yes. Yeah, good help. So just constant, constantly with cement. Just Hell, if him. you can, you get Cementos and Juzo to kind of double up. So maybe mm -hmm. Cementos brings a shit ton of cement in, and then Juzo softens it. Mm -hmm. And then could could he harden it? I don't think he could re-harden things. Unless they, unless they just will slowly revert back to their hardness. Now, Cementos like is is uh, useful in in uh, in scale with how much cement is around them. But again, if we have the um, ability to prepare, if this in a city setting, which it's more than likely going to be, there's going to be a lot of cement. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. We need some more. Let's see if we can get some more physical. Oh, oh, what if we could get Mina? Could she... Could she burn through his durability? Mina? Mina Maybe. Ashida. Yeah, no. Oh, we oh, don't, oh. We don't know how durable he is. You know what Machia is? Dumb. A man. Big. I think. You yes. know who's especially effective against men? Yes. Midnight. Yep. Just get if him she to can, sleep. If we can get her to use her subnumbulance quirk on him while mm -hmm. he's restrained, then... The the beauty and the beast. Uh-huh, hell yeah. Midnight. That's a good pick right there. This, this, you know what? 
I never thought I'd say this, but the Makia fight is looking significantly better. <laughs> 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 Bro, that's how you know you're fucked. <laughs> when the Makia fight is oh like, you know God. what? <laughs> we have a we have a better chance of beating Makia than we do at Shigaraki. How would would Mount Lady or Kamui Woods fit into this at all? I think Mount Lady would have a better chance. Um, I guess she could if we're going down. still more with like the restrictive things, then Kamui Woods' lacquer chain prisons could help. So I'm gonna put both of them down. I, I think that she would be more useful. Maybe not in fighting him because I don't think she could take a single hit from him. But maybe as but, like a uh, wrap his legs just up kind hold, of. Yeah, hold him down. Because mm -hmm. she's got him. she's really strong. But I think mm -hmm. it would just, it, it, you know, mass, takes mass to move mass, so. Yep. And then Kamui Woods, uh, due to his ability to uh, kind of, again, aid in the restriction. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Mass Genus. If he is around. Alive. I'll put a star by it. Because if he can control carbon fiber cables, uh huh, just wrap that shit up. That's I love genius. how we're basically just like trying to bury Gigantomachia. That's like, what are you? What else are you gonna do? What else are you going to Wood, do? Wood, glue, metal, uh, the kitchen sink. <laughs> <laughs> just keep him down. Oh, then let's see. Oh. Meatball guy could turn him into a meatball. Oh yes! I can't. I forgot about Meatball Man. Good. Yeah, he could turn him into a meatball. Turn him into a fucking meatball. <laughs> could he do that? Is there a limit to the size? How large? Yeah. Is there a limit to that? I don't know. Um. That's a great question. That's a great question. Uh. Let's see. What? Yeah. What about? I don't know if he could. Miss Joke be useful. Can just like incapacitate him with 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 laughter. Mm -hmm. mm, maybe. Oh, uh, we we talked about we talked about um, freaking. Uh... Oh God, how am I forgetting his name? Um um um. What? Who? Who? Uh, brainwash. Shinzo? Shinzo, yes. So, if he were to hear... Makia would, Maki would definitely fall for Shinzo. If he were to get, you know, the if he were to hear Shigaraki, or, you know, recordings of All for One's voice... He could just stop him, let everybody get into position, mm -hmm. and then just everybody all at once just wail on him. It, so, let's say... Uh, let's say Shinzo... Oh, you could, if you want to assume that Shinzo is, like, you know, as good as uh, Aizawa is with his uh, restraining. Thing. I would not say that. And I don't think he has enough. I don't think he has enough. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm saying, if you want to assume that he is as good as him with it, you could say that he could help restrain him. Yeah, I, I don't you know, know if he has enough tape to, to do. Enough scarf. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because he only uses it. Never mind. I thought there was a lot more than that. Um, so, anybody else do you think we could use? Restrictive? Not just restrictive, but anybody who could deal enough damage to hurt him, or Mina, have Bakugo, an Midoriya, another, Denki. Bakugo's on the other side. Um, oh, sorry. Midoriya, Dunkey, Mina. We have Todoroki on, our, on this side, too. Todoroki. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of DPS people. Anybody else, though, that we want to put over here? Because we have one more category to go. We do? What's the other category? Hi. Um, if not, I think that may be it for Makia. Yeah. But honestly, again, yeah. I think this is a good strat. I think this is a a decent strategy. Watch him just grow out of it. It's just like, uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> just <laughs> fucking Bugs Bunnies himself out of there. Um, I wonder if uh, I wonder if freaking uh, Kinoko would be useful here. Mushroom Girl. 
Cheeky glow oh, mushrooms. Oh, no, 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 no. Last on the list, Ibarra. Yeah. Her vines are great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait, couldn't you put Mushroom Girl on the first team to just grow mushrooms inside of Shigaraki? <laughs> Kinoko. Okay, Kinoko's over there. Uh, <laughs> finally. We need, we need her more on Shiggy. Heroes... To Bro, there's no point doing the high ends because we've wasted everybody on Shiggy high and Makia. Ends. Uh, no, we haven't. No, we haven't. I've been purposely keeping one in the back pocket. Not really purposely. I just couldn't find a good place to put her. Monoma? Mirko. Oh. We haven't used her yet. We also haven't used Edshot. Mm hmm. And these are big name players. Um. I don't think they can stand a chance against the high end, though. When he ne when one nearly bodied Endeavor. Now it could be that that one that one could have you know been like the best of them, or you know just had really good quirks against Endeavor. Mm -hmm. uh, let's put Ida here. Mm -hmm. Kirishima. Just everybody else from everybody Class 1B. Everybody else. <laughs> no, yeah. um... Let's see. Uh, any, like... Uh, oh, a Fat Gum. Sun Eater. Sun Eater, we put, uh, we put Amajiki on oh, the... Oh, is she? Okay. We put Amajiki on the... The Shiggy team? The Makia team, but honestly, Amajiki may be better suited for the high-ends team. Because, mm -hmm. I, actually, yeah, I'm going to put Amajiki on the high-end team. Uh, let's see. Seven. Any pro heroes that would be good here? Cementos. I think it's hard to, to do the high-ends because we don't know what would come from True, them. so we want this to be varied as well with our heroes. Let's, uh, Ectoplasm would be good here. Mm-hmm. Oh, and present Mike. Mm hmm Sure. Well, let's just throw Principal Nezu in there as well. Uh, well, I want Nezu out of here. I want Nezu. If, if if we have time to prepare, I want them, you know, radioed in, and I want Nezu from a fucking drone going. No, 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 no. <laughs> this area needs reinforcement. No, no, no. Strike here. Like, I want, I want him. I don't want him in a particular fight. I want him. In every fight. In every fight. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Present Mike, Ectoplasm. Um, we have... I think... I think Midnight's best suited over on the other side of the fight. Uh, we could have Backdraft on this side of the fight in case of fire. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I have no idea what he does, but Wash is over here. And so is Crust. Mm-hmm. See. I'm not gonna write down the samurai guy's name because I don't remember it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess Vlad could be here. Ooh, Tiger. Mm hmm I feel like just with the high ends, we're just putting everybody that wasn't already named. Yeah, but I feel like it's it's too hard to to figure out who's gonna be on the team because with the high ends, we don't know what perks they would have. We don't know how much quirks they have. All we know is a certain kind of maximum level of power they have, and that they're uh -huh. they be very that they be varied. Um, so it's hard, it would be definitely harder to put a strategy together. But I think we could, like, if we could just have like this is kind of the numbers game, and with numbers we need variety because we need mm -hmm. to have we need to have people go, oh shit, this one has a fire quirk, backdraft, come here, you know. Mm -hmm. We need you. We need to have this kind of cooperation, instant, instant cooperation. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Is there somebody that creates light? Uh, did we put thirteen on a team yet? I thought you'd put him on the Shiggy team. That's why I haven't said him because I thought you put him on Shiggy's team. I didn't put thirteen on the team. Oh, uh, then I would put thirteen 
on the high end team. Then. Yes, for sure. Um, sue you with her acid spit mm -hmm. would be useful. Um, uh, Momo. Momo, yes! How could I forget? Momo would be incredibly useful for versatility. Mm -hmm. Just everybody else from 1A. Just, just put them on this team. Well, let's, let's be real here. Not everybody, everybody, should, not everybody should be in this fight. Yeah, but we need everybody in this fight. If, we need who cares? We need bodies. Yeah, we, we need, need we need, we just, need yeah. meat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, everybody else in class one B. Uh, I think you could just I think you could just put everybody else that wasn't already named in the high end team. Yeah. Okay. So seven. Everyone else. One A. Bench warmers. <laughs> You know what? Coda could be useful here. Coda could be useful there. Yeah. Uh, what about from the Shiggy team that we didn't like actually put on there? Um, because I know we did a few. Nah, Amajiku is using the other side, and he's the only one that really matters. Do you want Pixie Bob on the Shiggy team or on the high end team? I, actually, I would say on the Shiggy high team. End. I, 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 really? I would say the Shiggy team just because of her ability to create things that we can lose with no loss. Mm -hmm. Um So yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put uh, keep Pixie Bob on the Shiggy team. Uh just everybody else from class one mm -hmm. Oh, 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 um, freaking, what is his name? Uh, the, the vibrations guy. Oh, the earthquake dude, Evil Midoriya? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, what about the, the wind dude? Wind guy, what was his name? Inasa? From, from yeah, you're not so the wind guy. I have him over on the Shiggy team. He's vital. Oh, he's on the Shiggy, Shiggy team. team? Oh, okay. Uh, he's vital yeah. on the Shiggy team. Being able to fly and keep people afloat using air mm -hmm. and hit hard. Okay. Yeah, he's a he's absolutely a Shiggy. Got uh, it. Shiggy team member. Uh, <laughs> um, ooh, hair guy. Meatball guy. I like meatball where he is. Is he on the Maki team? He's on the Maki team. Uh. Hey. Hair guy. Uh, Cammy actually might be useful here, creating illusions, keeping the high ends off, mm. because the high ends are intelligent, but not smart. Mm -hmm. So if we can get Cammy to like just keep running kind of interference on them, just keep tripping them up. Uh, let's see. How much of a need for reconnaissance, like, information gathering quirks would be used in any of these? Like, where would Jiro and Ojiro fit? If uh, they did? Well, it all depends on the situation, considering that we've put them in a place where it's like, oh, they, they know they're coming, they know where they're going to be, we're giving them time to prepare. So, you know, the whole thing with Jiro and Saro, or sorry, um, did you say Saro? Yeah. Is that Jiro uh, and Sarah? Ojiro. Jiro. Well, Ojiro, Ojiro and, 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 um, Shoji. Yeah. I meant Shoji. Uh, I, I think I might have said Ojiro. I meant Shoji. Yeah. Um, you know, they're, they're useful for, like, middle of combat and for before the combat. So they're useful for before combat. Like, oh, they're going to be over here. Or, you know, I think I see them coming this way. They're going to be here. Let's put people here, here. And in the middle of combat, they're like, oh, they're coming this way. So. You know, I th I think that they still would be useful more in the high end fight because you're gonna have multiple high end members. You're gonna want people to help coordinate where they are and and you know and stuff. Mm hmm. Sorry. Uh, I think I think we're out of heroes. Yeah. Now we can put right. like death arms in. They won't help. They're but they're not gonna be very. They're not gonna help. What's the what's the point? Now we could always say, you know, if this is like society's crumbling, I'm sure the Shia Hasaikai wouldn't want that to happen. Now I know they're all in prison, but this could be like a hey, you want to take you know ten years off your sentence? 
Mm -hmm. Like Suicide Squad? Yeah, you know, but instead of planting bombs in them, they just go, yeah, if you don't do this and we don't win, you die anyway, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like with stained muscular moonfish. Yeah. It's um, like, get in there. Get in there, champ. So I'm the not even going to look into the MILF side of things, because I'm just going to, I'm just going to assume that we have enough, we have enough m unnamed meat we've already, heroes. We already, we already, we already talked about that. We have enough, we have enough meat heroes just 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 nameless you know heroes to to not necessarily maybe not match their numbers but mm -hmm. at least match their power in terms of just their the number of people especially considering how many like uh aoe users we probably have like mm -hmm. we saw what what genten was able to do to the army of twices so yep. if we just get like a few big aoe attackers then uh, numbers can be negligible, and we're, uh, we can save we can save a more detailed analysis on how the heroes can fight them for a stream or for the the last episode if this wasn't it, which I don't think it was. I, I don't think I think we have one more. I think we're gonna see Shiggy get all for one, yeah, or at least like... begin the process of it because we had the stinger. So we have him. we have heroes who can fight Shiggy, heroes who can quote-unquote stop Machia, and heroes who can fight the high end. So for the heroes who can fight Shiggy, uh, we have... And I'm not just going to leave it to the six. I'm not just going to leave it to the six. I have Endeavor, Bakugo, Bakugo Tokoyami, Nejire, Inasa, Hawks, Setsuna, Gran Torino, Uraraka, Rocklock, Ryukyu, Manga, Aizawa, Monoma, Recovery Girl, Mandalay, uh, Pixie Bob, Manual, and Kinoko. If Kinoko, if if she's useful, if she's not, like if she can't be used there, I'd put her either with the Makia group or the high end one. Just anything that can throw shit in Makia's way. Yeah. Um, speaking of Makia, on his side, we're using every single person we wrote down here, uh, except for possibly best genus. Uh, we have Deku, Amajiki, Juzo, Mineta, Plamo, Sero, Todoroki, Cementos, Midnight, Mount Lady, Kamui Woods, uh, Meatball, Shinzo, and Ibarra. The goal here is to, if Just we can, him. if we can, have Midoriya knock him out. If we can, if not, the name of the game is uh, restrain him. Stop him. Stop him if we can. Stop him. You know, stop him long enough for us to deal with Shiggy, if we can. Mm-hmm. Uh, then with the he the heroes to fight the high ends, we have Mirko, Edshot, Ida, Kirishima, Fat Gum, Amajiki, Ectoplasm, Present Mike, Backdraft, Wash, Crust, Tiger, Kaminari, Thirteen, Suyu, Momo, the other non-picked one A uh, students. So, uh, and I'm uh, excuse me, I'm gonna say U A students. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say you should. So we can 1A get and 1B. yeah. So we get one A and one B, and maybe like I don't know a, a general studies kid here or there. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Tetsu Tetsu, who would count there, uh, Vibration Guy, uh, Hair Guy, and Ken. So, Gabe, which fight nope. do you think has the best best chances uh, for the heroes? Ma Ma Machia. Either Machia or Hyans. Did you ever think you'd say that? No. The, <laughs> the most likely fight is the Machia one. Did you ever mm. think you'd say that? Mm. Ever. Um... I think that's gonna be it. Yeah. Um, I'm sure we could talk more about the actual episode itself, but I had a lot of fun doing a little, a little prospect of victory here. Um, Our hopes of victory. And then, of course, if you if we do heroes who can fight, uh, slide and go. It's none. Mm. <laughs> Zero. Zero. Uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. We've been the custodians. I'm Rhett. I'm Gabe. Right, once again, please like, comment, subscribe, follow us on the social media. Links in the description. Please support us on Patreon. Yada yada yada. We stream our Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke, uh, mm, Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke, this Sunday and every Sunday at around 6 p.m. ish Central Standard Time. Please, you know, join us there where we can continue to talk about this episode and have a good one. You know what? Plus Ultra. <laughs>